All right, so in today's video tutorial, we are going to be going over entering um, grid coordinates in Google Earth in order to mark a point of interest on this map. Now, my grid coordinates that I want to enter into this map are going to be UTM grid coordinates instead of geographic. Uh, but there's a problem right off the bat. As you can see down here in this little information bar, um, that we are getting grid coordinates that are in degrees, seconds, and minutes. Now we want to change this in order to switch over to UTM. So let's first do that by going over to Tools. I'm going to select our Options. And in our Options under 3D View, you can see that we have some selections that we can make right here. We have uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds, which is already selected, uh, degrees, decimal, minutes, and universal transverse mercator, which I want. Now I do this because I have my GPS set up to UTM, and I swip, switch back and forth from my GPS to my maps using UTM, so I want to use that in Google Earth. Over off to our right, uh, we you can see here that we have units of measurement. Now, I like using feet and miles. Some people um, prefer meters and kilometers, but we'll go ahead with feet and miles right here. Go ahead and select Apply, and then click OK. Now, the grid coordinates I have, you can see that we're looking at Bear Lake. Now, this is the last uh, place that I looked at when I opened Google Earth. So when I opened it today, it's bringing me back to this point, but I want to go and mark a waypoint over in Idaho that's actually the Sheriff's Department. It's the parking lot. So let's show you how to do that. As you can see up here, we have a little selection button. It's a add a place marks tab, and it's it has this little push pin. We're going to select that, and in our box we have places where we can add information. Now at this point my zone is correct. I know um, that my uh, point of interest the zone is going to be in 12T uh, but we need to change the easting and the northing and at this point we can actually change the name and I know this is the Sheriff's Department so we're going to mark that right now. So we have that change to the Sheriff's Department, and I have a seven-digit grid coordinate, so I'm going to remove these grid coordinates and add my own at 03863 And that's my easting, Now I'm going to enter my northing. My northing is 4742. Let's go ahead and select OK at this point. And as you can see, our push pin that was hovering over here has now disappeared. So what we have to do is we have to find that push pin. Let's zoom out here. And now you can view it and it's showing that after I put my grid coordinates in it's now showing the parking lot of the sheriff's department but we're not done yet we still have some some things that we have to fix because if you look over here into your left where I've marked the sheriff's department under my places we have this push pin with the sheriff's department but if we double click that you can see the problem I'm running into is that it now brings me back to Bear Lake where I started and I don't want that. So when I click on it, I want it to show the Sheriff's Department. So let's zoom in here over the Sheriff's Department. next step is to move over to our panel on the left and we're going to right click select our sheriff's department. 
go down to properties and in our properties we're going to go over to the view tab now in our view we have two different selection tabs at the bottom we have a snapshot current view and a reset and at this point we're going to reset now that's much better but um, I actually want this to be zoomed in a little a little more so I'm going to change my range value from a thousand to a hundred so let's remove a zero and then hit OK now I have my point of interest I'm zoomed in on it and as you can see we're gonna back out here and we're gonna move away from this point of interest and I'm going to double click the Sheriff's Department tab and that has moved me right over my point of interest and right where I wanted it to be and that is how you enter in grid coordinates into Google Earth if that helped um, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up and if you have any comments go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below thank you